the campaign for fiscal equity lawsuit started in District 6. And that was about affording our children the opportunity for a sound basic education. And part of that uh, is small class size. And in 2005, the Department of Education said uh, in their five-year capital plan uh, that uh, all children in K-3, to there will be classrooms with no more than 20 children in a classroom. And they also said in that five-year capital plan that all of the, trans the, uh, the portable classrooms will be gone. And I had said at that time, with Miguel Martinez and myself and parents of District 6, we said, no way, Jose, because they had zero new schools for our district. And I had committed that if, in fact, uh, the K-3 to was no more than 20 and all transportables were gone, I would shred my coat and eat it over the course of a year. I still have that coat hanging in my closet. <laughs> but the point now that's being made, I agree with Borough President Gail Brewer. This is a sham, a ripoff. In fact, there's no transparency whatsoever. The leadership of all these schools was never consulted. The CEC, the body that represents uh, District 6, was never consulted. And in fact, Mott Hall is so overcrowded, they don't have a gym, uh, they don't have a, a, a place to eat properly, and they've been asking for a new school, and we have also the community board in District 6 for years. So this is totally unacceptable to uh, the parents, and I hope, uh, and I'm going to be asking, I haven't asked them, I'm going to ask Adriana Espaillat, our state senator, Adonis Rodriguez, our city council member, Gabriela Rosa, and Denny Farrell, what's their position on this? Step up to the plate and support the parents like I'm out here doing today. Thank you very much.